A semaphore maintains a set of permits. When instantiating a semaphore, we should pass the number of permits we want the new created semaphore to maintain. Invoking the acquire method on a semaphore results in using an available permit. If there isn't any available permit, the thread blocks until a permit becomes available. Invoking the release method on a semaphore releases the permit that was held by the thread that called the released method. In this code sample, we have one semaphore instantiated with the value 2, meaning at any given time only two threads at the most will be able to hold a permit from this specific semaphore. If we go over the code, we can th see that th new threads based on the worker class are started in this loop. Each one of them use the semaphore object we have in this program. In the beginning of the run method, there is a call to the acquire method on the semaphore object. If a permit is available, the code execution continues. If not, then th that specific thread is blocked blocked until an available permit becomes available for, him, for it. Each thread starts with calling the acquire. If a permit is available, it moves forward, perform the loop, and eventually release the permit it received. This way, when executing the code, we can see that there are two threads at the most at any given time that work concurrently.